Hello, 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 and welcome back to Plant Suit. I do apologize for the late episode. Um, I was planning to record it yesterday, but uh, I had to stay longer at work because someone was sick, and I planned to record it when I got home, but I had to start early so I didn't have the chance. I start early today, that is. But uh, yeah, um, so here we are uh, going to do the um, quokka with the uh, emu uh, right here in this location. So I'm thinking we actually um, need to do some terrain editing. Um, I keep pressing a, the one button when I mean to... Oh, that's a very big difference. Um, I think it should be big enough of a space. We can connect these two roads up as well. Uh, maybe um, not the Quokka, but let's do the um, Tasmanian Devil instead. Um, they don't have any people can't go in. They require two... 100 square meter habitat. So let's do the Tasmanian Devil here instead. Uh, I want a curve. Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And then we can curve right here. And then need to do something about this terrain so now i don't really like that one so let's start over here the reason why i'm also doing a big habitat is because i want them to have this space to actually um, um be able to You know, have the space they need, and I feel like it's more friendly for the uh, animals. I mean, not that Tasmanian devil. Not that. <laughs> oh, animal died. Let's call it that. Uh, not that. It's. Uh, you know what I mean. I don't want them to feel. in a position where they can't thrive and be happy and use the space even though it's a game but i still feel that i need to take care of them and give them the best life they can have in a zoo all right so let's uh, go to this one drag it over here Give it a one-way glass. Make sure they are all facing the correct way, which is here. Um, a lot of animals about to die by old age, which is fine. It's going to be a six meter long wall. Going this way, and then we need to... Uh, staircase it down. Like so. And then we can connect this one up with this one, right? Like so. So now we have one, two, and three ways in. So, as per usual, I am going to uh do some decorative things and making sure that the animals are in their best habitat possible also need to do this one there you go so yeah let me set up everything and oh we have reached one million monaroonies uh I, I wanted to go into staff and work zones. I also need to make sure staffs are actually not. Okay, they all look good. Very good. 
very good uh yeah all right so let me do a bunch of things and i uh, will take you all back once it's all ready to be shown off and and before i do that if you have any ideas for what um thing we should do next which uh, continent we have Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and South America. We just did Oceania. So we have these five. So if you have any ideas on that one, do let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you feel like I've decided. it. And yeah, let me jump into the uh, fixing up scene.
And with the magic of time skipping, we do have the habitat of the Tasmanian Devil, which is right here. And uh, they are nowhere to be seen yet. Uh, there's one. I think this is Mun 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 Munanjara. They have a nice. Oh, I don't want. They have a nice little lake. Uh, not too deep. I had to add a couple of coolos just so they can, you know, cool off. Yeah, this little uh, under a rock here where they can lay down. They also have um, pinata. They have some rocks, vegetation, some bamboo feeder, uh, some sand. We have a burrow and here's kupar, the tiny little devils. Okay, this is their habitat. Also a little down dip. I wanted to add some water here, but it didn't want to let me. And then we also have this little area. I know these are coastal plants, but I felt like they fit quite nicely to the stone. We also have a little under rock here with some uh, vegetation in. And another burrow. We have this little area. And yeah, this is their habitat. And people are already coming to see them which is quite nice so yeah these are the tasmanian devil tasmanian devil tasmanian devil perfectly written um so we have a bunch of animals let's try to kill a dwarf came in Ooh. all right so that i need to fix uh-huh but yeah so the Oceania part of the park is coming uh, together quite nicely. Do need to add something here though. And some uh, decorative things alongside here as well. And um, yeah, I think in the next episode we are just missing the Quokka. I believe the Quokka and the um, bat, which we need to have a walk in exhibit, which can actually be uh, right here down here. We can have the walk in exhibit here and the um, uh, AMO and Quokka right next to it, and then we can have a bunch of buildings couple of buildings here and some here and then we can have the habitat here ish uh, but what I can do is just to you know the forest too small so we can have just this one going alongside here and then we can have stuff here so yeah, this is the Tasmanian Devil Habitat. I could have done a lot more uh, decorative things here. Because they are only at 64%. The more the better, everything here is good. The overview, they are at 86% nutrition. But that is something that will go up with time. We also need to go into that research. And... Add someone to the devil. Yorick, you are the guy. Or a gal. So let's call the vet for this one. Do we have any more? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And this area will be cleaned up as well eventually. Uh, split into more sections. And we should have something spectacular in the middle. Like a big mountain and, and such. I, f I feel like that's going to be a great thing. And this needs to be changed because now people are actually using this path as well. We have almost 5,000 guests. We have over a million. So we can just s spend the money like crazy people. I could also add a um, entrance here that can connect directly up to this and uh, yeah we do need to add some decorative and lights as well 
But that's going to be in a different episode. The next one, the Quokka and the uh, Bat. I can't remember what they are called right now. Uh, they are going to be the this flying fox. They are going to be the last two animals in the Oceania continent part of the park. And then, like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, we have Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and South America left to go. Could also uh, divide it into aquatic and snow and warm and cold and temperate and grass and all of that stuff. So let me know what you think should be the next part of the park once we're done with this one right here. And with that, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.